Okay, hello there, hollows, and welcome to another series on this channel. Uh, this is going to be playing through the brand new Shadow of the Eclipse mod for Dark Souls. It reminds me of Shadow of the Tomb Raider for some reason whenever I hear the name. Uh, this is a brand new, complete, massive overhaul for the original Dark Souls, and it released on the 18th of January. So as of me recording this video, it is two days old. I have seen basically nothing of this gameplay-wise, so I'm going in pretty much completely blind. Um, and I don't know what to expect from this mod, but because it says it's a massive overhaul that changes tens of thousands of things in the game, I am expecting something big. I'm expecting something on the scale of Daughters of Ash, personally, which is the gold standard when it comes to massive overhauls for the original Dark Souls. Now, I don't know if that's a bit too high expectations, but, you know, hearing massive overhaul with tens of thousands of changes does kind of make you a bit excited. So, hopefully, this is going to be everything that I am hoping it will be. Um, and this is going to be pretty much... A standard playthrough. I'm just going to go through a regular build again, probably a dexterity build, um, because it's something that I didn't go through um, on my first ever playthrough. But it's a, actually, I don't know. Well, you know, we'll just see how how we go, how we get on, won't we? I am, uh, you know, since doing my uh, more recent let's play of the original Dark Souls, I have completed a Soul Level One run in my own time, and I have completed about half of a Fist Only run uh, using the Cestus. So. I feel like I'm much more uh, in tune with the game's mechanics and the general moves of the enemies than I was then, uh, because then when I did that playthrough, it had been a bit of time. I'm still I'm still very experienced with that. I'm rambling anyway. I can do all this talking during the first section of the game. So let's start Shadow of the Eclipse. Okay then, so we'll go Shadow of the Eclipse. A female. Go. Is that the highest dex? That's the highest dex. Oh, what are these then? We'll go for this, I think. Sounds like it could do something. Just go sort of regular. Okay, I'm assuming the intro is the same. In the age of age. Yeah, it seems the same to me. Mm, is that regular textures? I can't tell because yes, I do have indeed. a texture mod installed. This looks different to me. This look, I think this is still the texture mod that I'm using. Hmm. Unless this mod has these better textures too. We'll see. If there's any problems then I'll look into it, but I'm also doing a lot of damage. Okay, so as I said, yeah, I've seen absolutely nothing from this mod, so... Oh, there's no bonfire. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Okay. Um. Ah, okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> uh, I've seen that bit before, actually. Maybe I, I did see a little bit of this mod than that. I, I know whatever it is. I turned it off after that, I think. For no spoiler, so I, I think I have seen a little bit of this. What was that that I got? One humanity is lost upon death, reduced abilities when not human. Hmm. Okay. That was pretty cool, actually. Oh, that change. That's exciting though, because it has me sort of expecting stuff. The buckler. 
Oh, there's two guys here. Oh, I was hoping to get a backstab. Come on, dude. Ah. Okay. Rapier. Right then, let's see what we can do. My fist seems to be doing better than that. That's weird. That's a slightly different sound effect. This is a cool place for a bonfire. I bet you there's some glitches you could get to happen with the um, the asylum demon spawn in there. Well, that, okay. Yeah, it's got a longer uh, animation. I'm not used to using the buckler, actually. Let's just kill this guy. It'd be very embarrassing if I died here. <laughs> Why did I say it? I shouldn't have said it. It's like I jinxed it the second I said it. <laughs> uh, I'm liking this, actually. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. The, it feels like Dark Souls 2 time with this buckler. There we go. God. Alright, this is an exciting mod. Like, this this intro gives me Daughters of Ash level. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that was funny. The fog gate's still there. Yeah, 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 we know. Yeah. Okay. You finished? No. But why? Because I don't like you, that's why. Okay. Back here. Are we in? Okay. Just wondering if we're going to get like ambushed again by the asylum demon there. But I think this might play out like normal now. Three guys here. I should just use my fist. God. Are my fists doing less damage now? Why did it do more damage earlier? That's interesting. I do not like this weapon. Or oh, this shield. Oh my god. The bloody ceiling got in the way. This weapon. I really hate this weapon. I've never liked the rapier. I didn't realise this class came with it. I was just thinking regular Dark Souls. Whoa! Wow. Okay. Jesus. He's using the Yuji Katana, isn't he? No, that's like... That's not the Uji Katana. Uh, 
Whoa, man. Okay. To be honest, I've got to try and get used to uh, this game after Dark Souls 2 as well, because as of me recording this video, I have finished my Dark Souls 2 Let's Play completely. 100 percented uh, well, bosses, yeah. So, the timeline of the video releases are probably going to be a bit strange. Like, this this series I've recorded after finishing that, but it, some of it's going to come out during the early days of my Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. It's just how I've done it. It's, bad. it's a bit strange. I want to try and take the guy out, though, because he's probably got a really good... I wonder if we get his weapon. Because he reminds me of the guy um, in Dark Souls 3. You can get the Uchi Katana from really early. What? What? <sighs> okay. I'm getting my ass kicked. In the Undead Asylum. The first area of the game. This is what I like, though. To be honest. You know. Taking it right back to when I first played the game. And I did struggle to get through the asylum. I remember. I mean, it's partly because I'm using this absolutely atrociously terrible weapon. But if they change backstabs, okay, right. I want to take on that guy now. I really do, but I'm also scared. But I'm not a coward. But I, I, I don't want to die. But okay. Let's use this this shield instead. No, it's still got that same. No, that's more of a regular one. Yeah, that's more a regular uh, shield. Okay, come on, mate. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, brother. I am actually... This is terrible. I remember playing Dark Souls 2 and struggling because I wasn't used to Dark Souls 2 movement. Now I'm playing Dark Souls 1 and struggling because I'm not used to Dark Souls 1 movement. Man! That was a terrible time to heal. What? doesn't matter. We're going to try. And we're gonna, I'm not stopping until we beat him. I don't give up with these things. Even when I'm using this absolutely atrocious piece of garbage weapon. It doesn't matter. I don't need a good weapon. See? Look at that. That was like awesome. Okay, that wasn't, but... The it's interesting, though. Because it feels like, to me, there are actually like fundamental changes to some of Dark Souls 1 going on here. I don't know. It feels a little bit different. I have to, I have to play more, but currently it feels different. Then again, I think, I, do you know something that's actually throwing me? I never thought about. Is that I'm used to eight directional rolling. In Dark Souls 2. Because I was thinking when I was locked onto that guy there and I rolled. I was thinking, I'm actually used to the uh, backstab, man. Alright, I don't want to be rolling when I'm locked on. Oh my god, the, the level of damage, man. Yeah. Take that. Okay. This guy is a beast. that please okay all that running was for nothing <clears throat> I 
Okay. I might just do the Asylum Demon now. And then... Cause I, need, I need a different weapon. This this weapon is really screwing me over. I hate this moveset. Like this, just... Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm making up excuses for my own bad gameplay. Okay, okay. Right, let's go and take on the Asylum Demon now. That was strange. Ah, they gave him more health as well. That's to be expected, though. Mm, he seems more aggressive. Yeah, he's definitely more aggressive. He's doing moves much quicker. Usually he'd sort of wade around a bit more. Okay. That's a big hitbox. I like the increased difficulty though. I will say. Because, you know... I've beaten the original Dark Souls at least a dozen times. I think we're looking at more like 15 times, probably. So I'm very familiar with it, you know? Oh, I was hoping that if I did it really quick, I would still be able to get the, uh, the plunging attack. Feels more like fighting the stray demon, but like a a weaker stray demon. I, mean, I know, yeah, that's what the asylum demon is, but I don't feel like that should have hit me. Oh, hello. Turn into the demon fire sage now. Yeah, I guarantee that's got a bigger range now that he's on fire. He's faster now. I think he's doing his attacks faster. Okay. Oh. There we go. That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So I got the big pilgrim's key. And the statue that was here has moved. Because there was a statue here earlier that had the thing by it. Right, let's check around for items. That's something that I could easily forget. Oh, nothing there. I don't think there'd be any illusory walls added. That's probably not within the capabilities of, uh, of the mod. No. The regular spot. Oh, we're still sling here. That's the same item that that wasn't even changed. Up here. Right, let's go. Only in the ancient legends.
Okay, Firelink Shrine. Alright. Level up. So we're going to go Dex. Eight Estus Flasks. Okay. So there's less Estus Flasks. What is this? What is this? Warp to the Undead Respite. Is that where we started? Let's see. This is exciting. Okay, where is this? This is one, I think this is one of the multiplayer maps. New Game Plus will not begin until you are ready and request it. Magic Weapon Sorcerers are best used with Magic Infused Weapons. View the Shrine of Supporters. So those are the people that supported the mod in development, I assume. Okay. There's a bonfire there. Armor oh, cannot be reinforced. Guard attacks such as spears have worse reduction in stability. Normal guarding is less affecting when starting up. Infused shields can better block certain damage types. Kick attacks such as with curved swords grant invincibility. Freedom to travel may feel restricted but cleverness finds a way. Some items no longer exist but perhaps it was for the best. Covenants are unique, each with their own dynamics and rewards, and you can change covenants without consequence, but covenant abilities suffer. Mushroom guy. Medium weight dodging has faster recovery. Okay. So this is like little tips about things that the mods changed. That's cool. Magic spells consume stamina. Two ending deals more damage and poise, but less than before. The well within Firelink Shrine is quite deep. Oh! Being over encumbered by weight or magic still permits rolling. Here's the thing, as someone that never played on any of the multiplayer maps in the original Dark Souls, I feel like they could have used this and added some enemies here and made this an, an area. Adjust the dummy mushroom. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Walk back to Firelink Shrine, it has to go back. And they really could have done something, they could have actually made this like a... Uh, put enemies here and everything. And... Hmm. So I've never been here. <laughs> so this is like Dark Souls 1 content I've never seen. Cool. Okay, now we need to go and look at the well in Firelink Shrine then. Yeah, because you can jump in here. I assume from here, probably. Hmm. Whoa. Tomb of the Giants. Oh, cool. Nestle. Oh, okay. Maybe this could be a way to get to the catacombs. Well, you can already get to the catacombs early, but. I oh, know that's probably just going to take us back to Firelink Shrine, isn't it? Because there's no other way to get back out of it. Duh. Into the yeah, okay. Oh, crap. Ok, 
Okay, awesome. Let's head back out. Okay, we've seen that cutscene a million times. <laughs> ah, so that's sort of giving this a bit of a purpose, I suppose, in a way. Right, it's almost time, probably, to finish this level up. Or not level. Video. But I'm just going to check for items. As you do. Just check the regular spots. Green Blossom now. That's cool. Not that I ever really have used that. Except for the Calamity fight. I used it during the Calamity fight when I fought Calamity in my Let's Play series. Alright. Obviously we need to check for Memics. Because this mod does seem a little bit mean. A hand axe. Okay, perfect. Much better. Or maybe you can't hit mimics in this. Maybe they'll still hit you anyway. Who knows? Lloyd's talisman. Well, these guys are still here. Let's do a uh, suicide run for everything. I started recording... Uh, if anyone's still watching this video... I started recording footage for a 100% um, guide to Dark Souls. Just getting, like, covering everything. All the story, all the item placements, everything in one video for each area. So there'll be one for Phylink Shrine, one for the Northern Undead Asylum. Crap. One for just everything, basically. One for each area. Covering 100% story, all item placements, all lore, all hidden items, all hidden everything. But I wasn't sure, because that's probably something that's been done before on other channels, but maybe... Because <clears throat> I kind of want this channel to be almost like a one-stop like place you go to for all Dark Souls-related content. Like, maybe even lore, eventually. I'm not really one for lore in most games, but Dark Souls is very fascinating. I've never really delved into it too much. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Or not, you know? Um, maybe you think that it's over saturated and it's been done too much, which is one of the reasons why I stopped doing it and have done this instead. It's because I thought it's probably a little bit oversaturated, really. You know, Dark Souls is a it's an old game, but I would do it for Elden Ring as well, not just Dark Souls One. But I was thinking starting off with Dark Souls One because it is my favourite in the series, and then working forwards, you know, maybe doing it one a week, something like that, maybe. Let me know what you think of that idea. Or if you uh, have your own spin on it that maybe would be more interesting. Okay, that's everything probably now. I think. Oh no, there's one there, isn't there? I don't think I got the one up here. And then... It's time to progress forward. Oh, just bloody souls are lost and dead. There we go. Wow! Oh, did not mean to do that. Never been up there on the top of there. That's pretty cool. Right then, so, yes. That'll be the end of this video. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more of this. Obviously, I'll, I'll be doing it anyway, probably. But uh, let me know what you think of the mod so far. There should be a link, hopefully, to download the mod down below. Let me know in the comments if I forgot to put it there, because I could see myself forgetting. Um, but there should definitely be a mod link for this. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe you share this video with anything you might enjoy it if it was good enough. Thank you again for watching. This is Soul Reborn, signing out. Have a good one.